so now coming to the mediated model assessment why I'm doing it slow you can read it by just stopping this video and uh, okay uh, mediated effect supporting h1 2 3 and 4 so why I'm doing this means I, why I'm comparing with the previous studies so it will more confirm the validity of the entire study so nevertheless uh, the researcher found several reasons to justify the dissimilarities in the in this regards uh, first the meaning and uh, sorry the measuring factor for each research variable of okay now what I'm going to tell here that the finding is also consistent with one other recent study which analyzes that perceived performance risk effect affects online shopping preferences of Malaysian consumers and it also reduces willingness to purchase via internet however Ibrahim and fellows are in contrast based on their results in terms of supporting other dimension of perceived risk and trust as significantly related so now in the next paragraph it is justified that why uh, even when the results are other way around we can justify our study for example Ibrahim and fellows uh, were three uh, okay the variables of Ibrahim and fellows were three or less whereas this study measured the latent construct using a minimum of five factors okay so then the other reasons you can just stop the video Okay, finally, the study of Ibrahim and fellow collected response of 192 respondents, less than half of the total respondents in this study. So there are several reasons uh, to justify that still your results are all right. So people can question these sort of things, but you can say that, you know, have a proper reason of what I'm doing. Okay, then mediated model assessment, then some other, some other, some other okay now there is uh, support to the theory you can also add this okay regarding the trust okay now when you prove everything that your results are as perfect as possible so what you will do now it's time for you to give some sort of a suggestion so means what is the general rule that uh, if the trust sorry if the risk will be low so this will increase the trust first and then the purchase intention will ultimately increase so some suggestions uh, how to reduce the perceived performance risk okay now you can see based on outcome of this study the perceived performance risk can be reduced by identifying ways to reduce discrim uh, discrepancies in product quality specification and appearances ad sorry, as advertised in Malaysian websites. Various global benchmark web vendors can be followed in such context. Okay. So there are a few, few suggestions because you know at this point you are in a position where you can suggest something to to the reader because you know you proved one theory uh, although some of the variable were supported and some of them were rejected based on eliminated emulate eliminating those results which were rejected you proved one theory along with some variables so now based on your proper analysis you are in a position to give some sort of a suggestion so this chapter is particularly good in terms of making suggestions so now reducing financial risk okay reducing psychological risk all are just uh, just a suggestions now reducing perceived time risk so this will end the story uh, for a while so on, only only that part where we discuss the results and we suggest based on our results so what is left right now 
the implication of the research findings so what are the implications it should be either theoretical implications managerial implications